This video is brought to you by theskillmodeler.com. Hey guys, back again with another tutorial, but this time it's paint stripping a die cast. In this video, I will be paint stripping a die cast model similar to a Hot Wheels toy car about the same scale. Um, and the point is, I am building a couple of replicas of the, the vans I drive for my job. My boss asked me to do a couple, so I'm building about five or ten. Uh, for them, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you guys how to strip a die-cast model and maybe even uh, Hot Wheels if that's what you're into. Now for this tutorial I am using Paint Stripper from Zero Paints and this is specifically designed to only be used on resin and metal or die-cast scale models. So uh, don't use this on plastic as the plastics will be ruined and the model will melt and uh, basically will turn into something useless. Now it's actually a lot easier than you might think uh, as long as you take the right safety precautions. I am wearing gloves on the hand that will be touching uh, the model but uh, still will be touching it least amount possible and with the other hand I'm not even coming close to touching the models I'm just using the brush to apply the paint stripper. And basically what you just do is uh, you could scuff the model up a bit. I did the one on the right, I scuffed that up a bit and the one on the left is just uh, as it came out of the box and it basically did not really make a difference. Maybe I should have gone with a bit higher abrasive to scuff it up a bit more but without scuffing up it works just fine. The paint comes off straight away, maybe one or two takes but that's pretty much it. You just apply it with a brush and uh, don't be gentle, just apply a big fat blob. That way it works better and it removes most paint. Now I'm going into a couple of spots that did not really get affected and the second time you apply it, it pretty much uh, affects instantly. So the first side is now done and I flipped it over to do the other side and I basically continued on with flipping it over and applying the stripper to every side until everything was stripped and ready to be washed off. Now when you are done with the paint stripper and you want the paint stripper to stop working just put it in some water and it will no longer harm anything. So when you're done just wash the body off and then you will instantly see if some spots need a bit more attention and basically make sure it's dry and then just apply the paint stripper again to that area and wash it off again until you're satisfied. In my case uh, I took about two or three tries before everything was completely stripped off and I just had a couple small spots in between the panel lines that needed some more attention so I just took out my X-Acto blade and scraped those out and uh, that's pretty much it. I used some Scotch-Brite to uh, scuff up the body and prepare it for some primer later on and that's pretty much all there is to it. Now one thing I do want to add, um, these are of course die cast models and without the paint they will rust. So uh, don't come in contact with water or if you're like me, be smart and prime it straight away so that it won't even get the chance to rust. It might take some time depending on the humidity where you are, but it could go quicker than you might think and fixing the rust is a longer task than just to put it in some primer straight away and then you can just leave it and don't worry about it. I'm also gonna do a video on paint stripping a plastic model. I just ordered the stuff to do that, um, but in the meantime there will be a new project video next week. And that's pretty much it for now. Of course, check out thescalemodeler.com, it's my web shop. Uh, I have some pro cool products for sale and I am an official dealer for Zero Paints, Scale Production and C1 Models. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and give us a like to keep updated on projects like these and some other in-between stuff and also updates on our channel. Questions or suggestions, post a comment or shoot me an email. And of course, as always, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys next time.